Ладно. Hey guys, well we made it to West Winds one more time. Camped right by the water, nice and windy at West Winds, so don't have to worry too much about the bugs here. Just me and the, me and the wife and the old dog Scruffles. Captain Scruffy journeys again. Here you go guys. It's getting kind of old and gray. You're an old man, Scruffy. Tried to bite like everybody on the way out here too. Yes, you did. <laughs> Pretty elaborate here, guys. We got potatoes boiling. Just don't feel like making a fire, so. Potatoes and steak on the uh, pocket rocket tonight. Oh, it's a few fresh green beans from the garden. Just traveling light, you know. Potatoes boiled over, so I lid like this guys to put out my stove for the water so man I love the pocket rock what a great stove Crazy squirrel. Just had to film this guy's boat. I don't even know whose boat it is, but we're camped by him somewhere. Uh, it's fiberglass and wood. It's got air chambers, wood seat, wood gunnels. It's got the nice yoke. What a beautiful old boat. Like, kind of clipper esque, but no markings of what it is, so. Wow, hey guys, like, look at that. Nice boat, dude. Nice boat. Like, that's awesome. I brought my merino wool. Nice. To sleep. Alright guys, we got bacon and some eggs. I already made the coffee. So this was a full can. Eight ounce can, I think it was. No, whatever ounce. A medium sized can. We're gonna have to push it, see what we can how long we can cook with this thing. We had supper last night, coffee. Now bacon and eggs this morning. Can is still growing strong guys. Uh, Bacon and eggs turned into scrambled eggs with some bacon in it. <laughs> uh, yeah. Finally invested the $2 in one of these Walmart egg things and uh, pretty glad I did. It's nice to have some eggs on the trail, right? Good healthy food. Keeps for a long time. Stop filming and start cooking. I'm gonna burn shit. There we go, guys. The final product of binging with rubbish. Excellent bacon and egg scramble. Hey guys, getting uh, pretty choppy out here. Pretty choppy. Alright, let me get some tea going. Another full pot of water here on the tiny little pocket rocket. over to the fire guy, binging with rubbish again. We've got the potatoes roasting in oil. 
and salt and pepper those, and we should be good. Alright guys, binding of rubbish, we got our zucchini and onion frying in the oil now. Steaks and potatoes are done. Excellent, just excellent, look at that. Mm -hmm. Garden zucchini. Got our zucchini almost cooked guys. Just a little lemon zest on it. A little lemon zest on the steak and potatoes. There we go. A little lemon zest on everything. Morning of night two. A lot of neighbors at North End today. Alright guys, breakfast this morning is bacon and some boiled eggs and coffee. And we still got like, I don't know, maybe half or a quarter of fuel left. After all of this three days, I already boiled a coffee. We're going to boil another one in the jet boil with the same fuel can we've been using this whole three days, guys. Same can. Mm, jet boil's pretty cool for morning coffee, guys. Pretty impressed with the jet boil. Well guys, what a beautiful campground, leaving North End, it's beautiful beaches for uh, Bone Bay or Blade Bone Bay or something. Over there we waited till we had an early supper and then uh, decided to paddle in the evening when it's like glass, so, so far so good guys. Crazy fish jumping everywhere guys, just little like sardines. Well guys, made it to Bladebone Bay here. What a beautiful campsite. Found this crazy, uh, looks like a moose or something. It's a pretty big backbone piece. Pretty gnarly. Huh. Still got the, all the anemones the uh, wife wants. Gets pretty deep over there. Like I said, it's Bone Bay. We got another guy coming in, spoiling all the fun. Uh, looks like a solo canoeer. Pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. Nice well, guy. guys. Second supper is on their way. Binging with rubbish is having battered and fried. Guys, there's the fish. Ooh, a little too much salt and pepper on that one. Already lemon zested. Beautiful. Oh man, that's good. Okay. Mm. Kind of packing away the food here, getting it ready for the bear cache. Check out the old beach before bedtime. There's my clipper cascade. Beautiful boat. I love clippers. Our nice boat. We got some neighbors. Looks like a clipper solitude or something. Pretty easy. It's me, the wife, and one solo dude. These are humongous guys. Just huge trees. I kind of got fish, fish on my barrel, so I'm leaving it down there.
some of this cleaning up here, I guess. Well, guys, it's kind of a gloomy, thundery day. Even bone, blade bone bay. Sheltered under my nice big pine tree here. Pretty gnarly weather though guys. I can't tell what's clouds and what's what because of the smoke. So, I don't know. We're just counting how many minutes. It's the last lightning strike, right? Beautiful unknown sandy beach. Nice and shallow here boys and girls. There's a dead moose on the shore, it looks like, guys. Skeleton, anyway. Crazy shore. What a beautiful place. Oh, there's some feet. Oh, man, that's so awesome. Chilling together, ducks and or <laughs> geese and pelicans, pelicans and geese. Cool. That was a hard canal to paddle through, guys. That was pretty low water. Oh man, pretty wild. It's opening up now, though. Bagua Bay. Cool. Let's go check it out. Hey guys, well, we stopped at Bagua Lake or Bagua Bay, whatever it's called. Nice little campsites. Water's a little murky though, so definitely filter's gonna be working today. But I don't know if we're gonna stay here. We'll probably just uh, keep cruising on. It's a nice spot, but. Have lunch anyways, late lunch. Keep cruising on to Lily Lake. Yep. <laughs> well, same can of fuel, guys. Another 500 mils of water boiled. Liking that thing. Same can of fuel. It's getting light, but same can for, what is it, four, day four? What? Day four. No, day three. No, you're right. Day four. Day four, same little can of fuel. Mind you, we do cook cook the fish on the uh, fire and stuff. So. Cool though. Well, we are uh, Beg Lac Bagua Canal here onto Lily Lake. Pretty cool, little hidden canal. Pretty choice. Look at that, guys. Mucky Portage Trail Eagle. Super cool. All about the wildlife, right? That's awesome. Got our friend the eagle there watching over us while we get all mucky in this disgusting portage. Oh man, it is mucky, 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 guys. And mucky, the guys. End of the portage, Bogart. Yeah. There's the portage for Lily Lake, guys. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Lake Kingsmere. Not glass, but not too terrible, so. Pretty cool. I'll try and make it to West Winds where we started again. Pretty cool, guys. Made it to South End. Just in the nick of time, too. Had a quick supper. Chili MREs with rice, and uh, that's it, guys. That's a day of paddling from Playbone Bay through Bagua Portages and all those lakes, Lily Lake, to right back to South End. Pretty much the west side of Kingsmere Lake, guys. So, no one's here tonight. We've got the whole place to ourselves. Monday, Monday night. 
cooling off, guys. Makes me think fall is right around the corner. Yeah. Well, time to crawl on the tent, guys. Hey, guys. Morning, day five. At South End, got a pretty short portage, rail portage, and then back to the truck. Nice night, kind of windy. Nice campsite, nice and big. I like South End. What a nice campsite. Nice and big. It's got a nice shack. Pretty cool campsite, guys. I like it here. That's my sleeping bag, mister. You're cold. Get back into your, your blanket, dear Grandpa Scruffles. Oh, you're so cold. Grandpa Scruffles. Oh, you're so old. Mm -hmm. Well guys, day five, morning five, and some instant Tim's, and same can of fuel, still going guys, two people. It's getting really low though, I'm glad I brought an extra can, you know, if you're going over three days, maybe bring two cans if you're two people, but that's, it's day five man, same can, we used it to cook potatoes and all sorts of crap, still boiling the coffee. Man, that's awesome. Couple of wild raspberries for the oatmeal. That'll probably never make it to the oatmeal. <laughs> now we're boiling about 300 mils for the oatmeal on the same can. <laughs> 